Namaste, sweet souls. Deanna coming to you with Empowering Empaths. Just as I got done with meditation to come on and share the energy update for the week of February 9th through the Love Day, February 14th. Energy update for this week. My fur friend, my dog, began eating her dinner. And I'm like, you know, I was going to wait. And I thought, nope, this is a no-edit channel anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and share just coming out of meditation my whole purpose of this channel is to encourage and uplift all of you sensitive souls old souls on your awakening journey whether you're already awake or this is a new process for you my main purpose of this always is to assist with the symptoms of ascension as we rise and also encourage and uplift every one of you to let you know to reach my hand out energetically to let you know you're not alone on this journey to go ahead and dive deep into let me adjust my camera here new equipment bear with me to encourage you to step into your authenticity allow you to know so always take what resonates on my channel leave the rest it is my heart's passion to help humanity sharing what comes through to me energetically and the word that came through to me while during meditation today is void void to me the center of creation right the dark womb in the female archetype where life begins, where we birth spirit. But this is also in the male, right? I use divine masculine, divine feminine always, sometimes reference in whether it be specifically in your vessel as a female or male irrelevant. We all have this center, this dark void where maybe on the female side of it yes we're birthing spirit we're literally birthing humans in birthing spirit into the human vessel but it's also where manifestation begins and that's why it's both in the gender of male and female so this void coming through to me made me just start connecting dots throughout what was coming in and i visualized planet earth the womb, the mother, right? The feminine um, womb where manifestation. And I could visualize this wobble. So the reason I feel that came through to me is to share with everybody today that because we are in this ascension, place we've never been in the human form, right? All very new to us. We're going to feel this wobble within us with our emotions, with our energetic body integrating into our vessel um, during this wobble of feeling sometimes we're in harmony. The next day we can feel like we're out of harmony, feeling a little bit out of sorts. It's okay. Just really feel into it. Be gentle on those days where you're not feeling in harmony and understand that not only us as sensitive souls the majority of us that are on this awakening journey are old souls and we're beginning this of a way shower so more and more people waking up over time this is going to kind of cover it for everybody it's feeling like we have no reference point like we're losing all the old stories and programs and we're right on target with that and it can come through sometimes of not feeling like you have this reference point. Um, symptoms can come through to people in many different aspects, whether it be um, anxiousness or just feeling like you're forgetting what you're doing. That's okay. We're integrating this higher heart. I'm coming to you on the full moon in Leo today. It just happened earlier in the day. And that was really sparking this higher heart um leo is ruled by the sun so the integration of all of this light and life force energy that our dna is literally integrating right now so what i feel is happening with us kind of going to this zero point i believe mars is the last one 
through the galactic center. Um, many of us have been experiencing these ascension symptoms since 2019, some of us before, um, but they really amped up at that time. And Mars being the last one traveling through the galactic center, I believe it's in Sagittarius, um, is really this action time of understanding that wherever you are on your evolution to trust that, okay? Um, keep tuning into your body. That was another thing that came. Our bodies are speaking to us. Um, don't wait for your body to, to scream and yell at you. A lot of influxes of this light, and I do believe if you haven't checked the Schumann Resonance today on the 9th, starting yesterday, started just being in a, a high again. So we're really integrating a lot of things. I visualized us in the planet Earth, and I think if we all connect the dot, dots, we can understand that there's definitely things that we're going through within us, but not only us, but the planet and the cosmos, right? Opening up, all connected. And visualizing this wobble within ourselves, the planet, and all of all us going through the galactic center ourselves, understanding that that's probably why one day you feel like you're really doing good, you're in harmony, and then the next day you're going, what the heck just hit me again? Under, it's okay. Take deep breaths. Understand that we're all, whether you're awake or not, it's happening and it's on. And so keep tuning into your body. If your body tells you to, you need to rest, then rest. If your body tells you you need to get out and ground, then by all means do. Um, integrate a lot of your magnesium into you right now that is going to help us with the integration many people feeling the thiamus gland the higher heart fluttering um so that would come through as heart palpitations um personally for me i was experiencing that initially with the schumann resonance and then i started noticing my body speaking to me going there's something off here Mars, right, representative of action. Okay, Deanna, then take action. And so I went and seen a holistic um, herbalist that owns a store and the hormonal changes that are going on within me at 45 needed some nutrients. And so I got myself on some black cohosh. That importance of listening to your body. Um, Magnesium can help with those, the thiamus and the higher heart fluctuations that many of us are feeling as heart palpitations at this time. Um, it's really huge. I think this is coming up for us. A lot of us, uh, whether you're new to the journey or not, is irrelevant. It's going to happen for you eventually if it's not already. Um, releasing and understanding that we are not our past, we're not our old programs. We're not the old beliefs and really tuning in to that oneness consciousness, right? Uh, sparks of creator ourselves so that we understand we don't claim any of the past. Um, you know, a lot of physicians today will say any past family history of blah, 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 disease. Never claim that. You are not your beliefs. You are not your ancestors' diseases. Um, those were all emotions that were not healed and, and within them, and so they were passed on to us. They can be. If we release that and understand that we are at zero point within ourselves to start a new cycle, right, in the age of Aquarius, starting with self and then kind of like the wave of the archetype of the symbol of Aquarius, sending that out to the ethers, um, and that's where we go back to the manifestation. The sacral chakra and the solar plexus were coming up huge last week for me. As I shared on the energy update, again, finding more synchronicities with that creation and that void. That would make sense to why when I've meditated today to come on and share the energy update, um, that sacral chakra is where all creation begins literally in the female we can birth right um but also in the males for manifestation and alike with the women too of course 
So understand when I'm speaking and having to use language to share with everybody that I'm trying to come to you guys on a spiritual perspective that we all are and spirit has no gender, but also am able to share this in a language, right? English language, I have to sometimes say the males and the females for, for good reason. So, um, my dog's really antsy right now. So this week, let's get on to it. Venus is leading us this week. And the reason that's coming up with me to do is because I wrote right at the top of my notes to the divine feminine archetype. And we just had black moon Lilith, which is a point, a dark aspect, only a point. It's not an asteroid or anything. Line up with Chiron, the wounded healer, and also Venus. I forgot to mention that last week. So the Venus feminine archetype and Venus is currently today in Aries, which is self. <laughs> um, nurturing compassion intuition not being bound by the old attachments of the feminine archetype feeling like they need to heal the male I believe the males coming in to their own balance and harmony a lot of us experiencing the ego death which is as we're in a human vessel, we understand that we all have to have, we have an ego. If we're not in a human body, then we don't have the ego. We're back to spirit where there's neutrality. The importance of this is I feel that with all these waves and visualizing us going through these wobbles, even with the planet Earth, because it's all connected, experience an ego death, meaning we're dropping the old stories. We are not our ancestors. We're at a zero point of manifesting who we choose to be and taking that out into the ethers right um but this can come across as this ego death of where you're losing the attachments in this that and the other of anxiousness in some um can come through as fear because you don't have any anything to look back upon or look forward upon you're just in this in this moment and so really breathe into that this week because we have mercury going retrograde on the 13th of february which is what day thursday so just the day before love day which i'm not really sure why they made um the hallmark holiday of love day on february 14th because venus rules um may i do believe but anyway you know matrix so it'll give anybody the opportunity with mercury retrograde to kind of just level up and revisit some things you know whatever you're still clinging on to with those old beliefs with old with those old yous old versions of you um pay attention to communication at the time make sure you're in heart center you know um, mercury rules communication travel just to name a few so really speaking from that higher heart and leo this full moon is extraordinary i hope that you guys have stepped out to see it i know last night it was gigantic shining in my bedroom window like it was the sun right so very beautiful but very symbolic so again with that activating where we're at now and leo ruling being ruled by the sun um, the higher heart so the thymus if you're feeling that thump don't freak out you know do some breath work take some magnesium possibly if you're okay to take that and breathe and see if it passes nine times out of ten it's the ascension symptoms right now we've been going through this so the feminine archetype again we just had another huge release, as I was saying, with the Black Moon, Lilith, Venus, and Chiron, the Wounded Healer, all in Aries, with this full t full moon in Leo to release any of those um, patterns of selling yourself short. And it's funny because prostitute came up to me, but not in what people think it is today. It came up to me symbolically as in are you selling yourself short are you saying no when you need to say no 
Is your heart telling you to say no and you're still saying yes? You're going to see more and more as we're going forward throughout this age of Aquarius um, that that ain't going to fly too well. It is resistance. It's causing resistance within you, you know. So really step into that. I was encouraged by my Lemurian sister to share the star code 2 today because this is our second full moon of 2020 thus far. And when I heard her share it, I'm like, I have this deck. I'm inspired to share it with the energy update today. So I'm going to hold this as still as I can. I'm not going to move my camera for now. It is so significant and beautiful. So I would like you to take a couple deep cleansing breaths at this time in through your nose, into your solar plexus, all the way down, visualizing your sacral chakra, your second chakra up from your root. So up from your tailbone, if you're not familiar with the chakra system, these are our star centers. And so I would like to share the Lemurian star code for this week's ascension and I would like you to just really breathe this in stare at the symbol I'll hold it as still as I can from the cauldron of your life force you have the capacity to conceive gestate and transmute invisible beginnings into manifested form as the awakened human, each of you are creative seeds are infused with primal spark and spiritual essence. This blends you as a human and a divine and manifest into all creation. So as you see the Luna in the center of this symbol, I'm going to repeat this and give a little bit of perspective. So just take a nice cleansing breath again. Hopefully you can see this well, yes. From the cauldron of your life force. So that is the black void I'm talking about. This is the center of your second chakra, your sacral chakra, your life force. You have the capacity to conceive so this is not only the womb of the feminine where she births life, right? But this is also the creative manifestation, sacral chakra in the male. To gestate and transmute invisible beginnings into manifested form. So this is our spiritual aspect being birthed through the sacral chakra physically the uterus in a woman. So even if you don't have your uterus, visualize the uterus in your body anyway. Healing, orange, vibrant, spinning. This is where all manifestations form. As the awakened human, each of your creative seeds are infused with a primal spark and a spiritual essence. This blends you as a human and a divine and manifest into all creation. Star center two, sacral chakra, where creativity begins, where life begins. And this would make sense to why when I meditated, I just visualized the black void, right? Think about it in the female archetype, the womb, where we birth spirit into human, where creation begins to birth new life to new ideas. Super beautiful. So I was inspired to share also from the Divine Feminine um, Chakra, Divine Feminine Oracle by... I believe it's by Megan Watterson. So dear spirit, I am here. I am open. 
and I am thankful and full of gratitude. I would like some messages to inspire, to uplift any of you on your journey. Beautiful. Mm. Wow. Okay, guys. So for the energy update, for the messages to go along with the Star Center 2 Sacral Chakra, Our Lady of Interior Life, I trust the answers I find within me. I know that the presence of love is real. That is beautiful. So she has that illuminated heart. She is trusting that inner voice, that intuition. Trust your body language, guys. It is speaking to us more than ever because we are in a place where we're being mo more open to listen, right? You're finding that illuminated heart, the peace dove in the center. To go along with this, we, we got the diamond hearted Dakini. I see the light in my own darkness and I face my ego beliefs and I feel free. This is going hand in hand with the void of man, the void that I was visualizing in my meditation. Understanding, like I shared here, that we're going through these ego deaths. And all that is, is the old programming. We're going to have an ego still in the body thus far, but it's balancing that and keeping that in check. Being in harmonizing, like I shared with you guys, visualize yourself going like this, just as the planet is. We're experiencing weather shifts globally. These are all connected. We are all in this wobble right now. So that's why one day you may feel like you're in harmony peace, balance, trusting that, and your ego will spark back up when you have no, when we're at zero point creating new, right, with the sacral chakra, it can come across as scary, you know, don't even lie, um, it can come through as fear, because you have no aspect um, as you're releasing these things, right, and trusting your light more and more is how you're going to find the key to walk through with that. Anything else here? Always trusting the answers within you. Your body, your intuition is really available, guys, for all of us. You know, it's happening more and more and more. That's where we're going to find that peace is when you be in your own fucking lane, right? And you drive in your own lane and you say no when you need to say no. Um, honoring that light within you. If your body is telling you, no, I don't want to do something, make sure you're going with that because your body, like anything else, we also have that availability with us and these light codes coming in that's literally changing our DNA. We also have that availability for us to go man i'm seeing synchronicities the more i'm stepping into my truth my way my lane that wow i can't be on the wrong path there is no wrong path it just depends on which way you want to go uh trust that see the light in my own darkness as i fe face my ego's beliefs that goes huge with what i was saying prior with the ego stripping it, stripping it down we're going to a time of we consciousness in the age of Aquarius and so any resistance that you feel within you or that you're seeing on the project projector screen out there is all just resistance um, be that way shower be that light Lead with your higher heart. Don't just talk the peace, but walk the peace. Um, more and more as we go, you're going to see people waking up and they need our wisdom, our knowledge, our hand to say, hey, you're not going crazy. 
I'm a I'm feeling ascension symptoms today too, you know, whether it be a headache or a flu. Flu ascension symptoms are very real and, you know, physicians will gladly give you a medication for it, but choose some holistic herbs. I'm not here to replace any kind of medical attention that you may need. However, being on this journey it's very significant to share so that other people go, whoa, me too, you know, it helps them. It helps ease a little bit of their anxiousness. And so it's not to be ignored that the body's going through so many changes. And with me being 45, I had to integrate a few different herbs like black cohosh for one, because I'm literally going through hormonal changes, right? My, my creation... My sacral chakra, my solar plexus chakra, everybody's are shifting and changing. It may be something else for you. Knowing we're spiritual beings in a body, that means we still have to walk it. We're not just talking it. If you need to do something for your health, then by all means do it. But earth and Gaia and nature really does provide all healing along with your prayer. I, I can't underestimate prayer and the energy of two or more coming together. Lastly, I just want to share, I went for a massage last week. I knew I was releasing. I feel it is a lot of the feminine archetype, even the Black Moon Lilith of resentment for the masculine, this, that, and the other. No, it's more of a time of bring it or don't. It's not a female's job to assist the masculine in that. They have to face their fears and their ego death themselves, right? and not drag people into attachments because we're really losing that. It's significant, it's huge. Um, so the two are more gathered. My little massage therapist slash healer because she's spiritual. Um, there's profound release right now. So my suggestion to you, wherever you're at on your journey, your self-care is so important trusting your own intuition your own light right and allowing that to be the peace that you are don't ignore anything that right rises up within us because when we have no reference point by releasing all of these old stories and beliefs even programs by others collectively we're seeing that play out on the forefront these things are new it's people grasping on to ego and resisting. Just like I said earlier about if you want to say no and you're saying yes, there's causing resistance. That happens as well on the collective stage. Don't buy into those dramas, guys. Be that one. Be that way shower that's going. No, it ain't getting worse. It's actually just being revealed. The light is shining on it. And we're going to see this going forward more and more. Allow yourself to be the living prayer. Allow yourself to go into that dark void where all creation begins, although it's not easy um, because that spark is there within you, right? That diamond-hearted Dakini, I find that's awesome because today's the full moon in Leo. The higher heart, the thymus. Um, leading forward in the Aquarian age, of we consciousness and just we haven't even known what love was on this planet love has been so distorted bringing that up because it's february the hallmark holiday every day should be love because it's authentic um it's been so hallmarked like valentine's day itself and distorted and so we're losing those attachments and of outcomes and we're staying in our own lane and we're going to eventually know what real agape love is like God creator creation love and so we're going through a lot of purging of that a lot of integration in light a lot of changes in our body our vessel so very important to listen to your body We truly are birthing new in that void, that second star chakra, your sacral chakra. 
And so when you feel like you're in that wobble, just remember this, remember that me saying this to you, allow it for me, allow it to calm your central nervous system, be super gentle with yourself. Venus le leading the way this week, why this intuitively came to me, I just feel it's a soul maturity that all of us, males, females, the, the feminine, the, the, the sacred feminine, the sacred masculine, coming into harmony within you. And if you get in that wobble, just remember that it's okay. I hope this resonates with you. If you're new today, please do. If this resonates, like, subscribe, share. I do have some new subscribers from last week to this week, so thank you so much for being here. I read every comment. I appreciate you interacting here, and I appreciate you giving a like. Um, keep tuning into your soul. Keep tuning into your body. Make sure you're being still and listen. Um, that goes right back to all the answers are within you, you know? We're all tapped in, and I believe that's where we're all having this realization of, wow, I used to think that I had to connect with Creator God, Source, outside of me when it's always been right here in that higher heart chakra, and we're integrating that. So it's kind of exciting, not to say that it ain't been deep, because last week I was having huge, um, what I feel is more ego death, which came through as anxiousness slash hormonal issues, Got myself into the Mars action and went and did something about it. Continuing to do that. Remembering when I'm feeling really good to be super grateful. This is well for you. And when you're feeling a little wobble in yourself and not feeling that great, perfect opportunity for you to increase your self-care. Always be gentle with you. Always fill your cup first. I send this to you with so much love. And please do watch. I haven't recorded it yet. I will also be doing a three card draw for everybody who wants to tune in for this week to pick themselves a message. I send this to you with so much love and thanks for being here. Namaste.